Welcome to the first Gay Pride Day Parade in the Hamptons. I'm Patrick Cristiano, and we're starting here at Guild Hall, and we have a wonderful float here. It's the Guild Hall Love Bug. Take a look at it. It's really cool. And we have a we have a car that's driving the Love Bug. Tell us about your Love Bug. Uh, this is the Guild Hall Love Bug. And, and you all work at Guildhall? Yeah, this, Andrea Grover is our executive director. Oh, Andrea, I didn't even recognize her over there. Andrea, give us a word. <laughs> I'm coming around to get you, darling. <laughs> So, yeah. tell us about the love bug. Oh, the love bug. Whose conception was it? This was Amy Kerwin, our chief creative officer's conception. Oh, it's and fabulous. she did it with Sam Young, whose daughter is in the back seat. Also, oh, Brianna, which one is Sam right Young? Here. The little daughter. You Sam is say right hello. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I'm in the love bug. That's Brianna. <laughs> no? And that's okay. Sam there. Sam helped set do it, and Hannah helped. Hey, you want to say hello, Sam? Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, yes, Sam. Hello, I'm Lola. I'm Andrew's daughter. Oh, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. And Teen Arts Council made all the t-shirts. Oh, the Love Bug looks it's really cool. Teen Arts, Guildhall Teen Arts Council members in the back. Oh, you, they were they all, all in the back. They made all the t-shirts. Yeah, and Anthony Madonna over here holding the flag, he runs the Teen Arts Council, and they made all these shirts that read Love is Love is Love is Love, or Love equals Love. Talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna go get him, Andrea. Yay! <laughs> thank Thanks you, thank you guys. Have a great parade. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Gay it's Pride about Day. Time, right? <laughs> it's a great day for the gays in the Hamptons. So we have some some people. Are you, hey, you want to you want to chat with us? Sure. About what 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 brought you here? Uh, well, um, you know, I've been coming uh, living here in the East Hampton, and uh, I always wondered why there was no you know pride. I did too. Here. I wondered why they never had one. Yeah, and I uh, thought, well, I'm going to come out, you know, because I'm old, and I want to make sure that younger gays uh, feel comfortable, you know, coming out and showing themselves. Do you think people will show up? Oh my God! Yeah, I think so. It looks that way already. We're gonna have a big turnout, you think? I believe so. I believe so. Bigger, bigger than I was thinking, actually. Yeah. You yeah. Bigger than I was thinking. Well, we're gonna see. I hope it is. Yeah. So far, it looks pretty, uh, pretty good. <laughs> now, where's your friend? Did he run away, shy away from the camera? He went right over there to oh. Uh, you know, social butterfly. Oh yeah. Okay. So he's like <laughs> putting around. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for chatting oh, with us. Thank you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> trans kids. Hampton Bays loves all. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> Have a wonderful Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> happy Pride. Yes, Happy Pride. <laughs> Come into <TV. laughs> Otto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Let's go, Matt! Yeah, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Yeah. Matt! Love is love! Good morning. So we're here with Anthony Madonna, and he's the head of the Teen Arts Council at Guild Hall, and they all were standing behind us here. They all made these incredible love t-shirts. Tell us about the concept. Sure. So we worked with the artist Mago, and instead of creating a banner that we hold, we thought we could be the banner. So each t-shirt has a different letter or symbol on it, and as we all walk, it spells love plus love equals love plus love plus love equals love. And so we have extra t-shirts, bandanas that we'll be throwing out and sharing with everyone. And I think, you know what I love most of all? Everybody's got a piece of the love thing. It's like everyone has to make their contribution exactly. to bring the love to full life. Yeah, we're it's all equal parts of a whole. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course. It was terrific. Feel free to chat with any of them if you'd like. Yeah, but you have a great day. Good, great, a great gay pride day parade. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Have a good one. So are you part of the love bug? Hey, yes. Yeah, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Well, we're doing fantastic here. And uh, well, this is the Tippy Pride cart. And we're excited to be here in East Hampton. Uh, love is love. And uh, at this 
time of a tumultuous world, it's just really nice for everybody to come together and share love and peace and happiness in this beautiful, beautiful bucolic village of East Ham. Thank you so much for coming out to do it. Now, now, who do you represent? So we represent, is it Team Tippy or? Team Tippy. Yeah. Who, who's Team Tippy? I'm Team Tippy. Tippy. Well, what's Tippy? What is that? Mean? That's my name. So it's, your, it's your group of friends? Yeah, yeah. your group of friends. friends and um, I'm straight. But I love all my gay friends and, and all the pride. So you're a fag hag. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like a major fag hag of she the Hamptons. She's a good supporter. And and she's terrific. This, yes, and I'm looking to see my license she plate. Is, she is one of our greatest allies, and we adore her. She is good, great people. And her husband donated the card. He's a oh, pro uh, at no, he's East a, Hampton. No, he, he's my husband, Tom Barnard, and um, the East Hampton Golf Club don't uh, sponsor us and let us use the golf cart. How kind of him. Wow, that's yeah, fabulous. Well, I told him if you don't like the gay, it's not going to work between <laughs> us. So he, he come, he come with the carry. Tell him like it is, Julia. That's right. So, so I totally support the gay, lesbian, bisexual, trisexual. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank yeah. you, guys. Thank I, I, you. I, what what village you guys from? I love your sneakers. East Hampton Village. Oh, yeah. wonderful. And, and, and Springs and up on beautiful... Uh, Bridge. We're all represented here. We're all represented. Uh, yeah, and uh, and the beautiful uh, bucolic area of uh, Gardner's Bay. Come here, guys. Be part of this. We we have, we have, I, I think the Bonnikers would be very happy with us that we've come a far way, all of us together. So it's a wonderful thing, really. Thank you for coming. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. We have a legendary gay boy here, uh, Ricky. He's a DJ, actually, too, from Hollywood that's got a gig at the Maidstone for the summer. Uh, Ricky. Yes, uh, so I'm a legendary gay boy. Um, I come from West Hollywood, California. I'm the bar manager at the Maidstone Hotel. But what makes you legendary? Uh, during COVID, I actually uh, kept all the gays and the dance community together in Los Angeles. And uh, Where'd you do that? in the underground baby all of it was in the underground scene so uh what i actually did was i, I gave the voice to uh all the gay people that needed a voice and at that time uh, we didn't have a voice to speak up against uh, the government or communicate and get together and uh, be a community like we needed to be so i gave everybody a space can people find you on youtube uh yeah more so on instagram that's where i would love for you to connect with me on instagram Oh uh, yeah, and um, but this is your first summer in the Hamptons, right? Yeah, summer in the Hamptons. So I'm ready. I'm ready to have fun with everybody. Ready to bring all the gays back to the Maidstone Hotel. And uh, like I said, I'm the bar manager there. We're having our after party. So I'm you hear gonna... that? Get to the Maidstone. Yeah, 3 p.m. Let's go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Have a great parade. Yes, it was a pleasure meeting you. And uh, look here in uh, Gold Town, which is really hot. Hey, welcome to, hey, welcome, happy and happy Pride Day. Who are you? I'm Patrick Campy, and this is my husband, Richard. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us about your car. So this is a 64 Cadillac Eldorado. Wow. Yes, that's right. It's all original, beautiful car. We love How long have you had it? I've had it about 10 years. Yeah. So, so you bought it and then restored it? No, it's unrestored. This is the oh. original everything. Wow. Except the gay pride flag. Yeah. Now, what brings you here today besides we gay pride? We've been out here for 30 years in the Hamptons. We have a home here, and so we're thrilled that we're having a pride. So it's about time, right? It's about time, yeah. And so yeah, we, we, we decide to participate. Well, can I say hello to your nieces? Yeah. You are? Hi. I'm Allison. And you? Abby. Abby. And how long have you got girls been coming to the Hamptons? How long have you girls been coming to the Hamptons? I've been coming since I was a little, little girl. So, 15 years? And how, how long have you two guys been together? We've been together 11 years, married four. four. So you've known them together all the time, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, have a great Thank gay you. prize. I'm, I'm glad we're finally getting it, right? We deserve it. Thank you. We deserve it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm with uh, here with Alex Cohn, the owner of the Mets, and she's brought a whole gaggle of supporters of the Gay Pride. Welcome, Alex. Thank you so much for uh, thank you so much for coming. We're so happy to be here. Here is the first annual parade. It is the first annual parade. Well, we're happy to be here, and I'm proud to introduce you to all my friends. And they are a gaggle. Trust me when I tell you. So where did you have to come from? Uh, they came from all over. We have Los Angeles. We have New York. We have London. We have Vegas. Where else are you guys from? Queens. Brooklyn. They come from all over. How long did it take you to put it all together? 20 minutes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is our actually Pride weekend. We do it every year here with my friends. So this just happened to land on the day of the parade. But how long did it take you to get all these people to come together? Uh, 20 minutes. Literally, I sent an email out and they were happy to come. You got that much power. Wow. Yeah, no, these, are these are all my best friends. So well, that's, that's yeah, a lot of power. There. That's a lot of power is what I'm saying, to have, to have that kind of support well, behind My you. husband's in, de in uh, the, uh, the Dodger game series. He said, I'm going to let you have your fun with your friends. I'm out. So he's out in Los Angeles watching the Mets. Are you thinking about doing stand-up comedy? Uh, not today. <laughs> Maybe after a few cocktails. <laughs> but, but it's, 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 a, it's a kind of a seed in the back of your brain you might want to try? Oh, God, no. But I think no. Steve and I could be funny together if anybody follows him. Because I, I, I think you could be very funny. Well, uh, thank you, but no. <laughs> no. I think we could all be in a, in a sitcom, that's for sure. Thank you so much for coming out to support. Now, it's, it's our pleasure to get to chat with you, and I love love the t-shirts. Who designed them? Oh, we designed the t-shirts for our Mets Foundation, mm -hmm. and we used them last year, and we're all Mets fans, right? Everybody, can I get a Let's Go Mets? Let's go Mets! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Hi, I'm with my friend Jane Sherman, who is an utter force in the gay community, and she's here at the first Gay Pride March in East Hampton Parade. It's not a march, it's a parade. <laughs> Say it again. Time. It's about time. What, uh, what, what else? How come you're alone? Um, my partner's not feeling up to the march today, uh, but she's fine. We miss her. I wish Deb were here. I wish Deb were here. Uh, Jane, Jane is a, a Broadway producer who's produced so many wonderful shows, and she's a television uh, personality, not personality, producer who's produced shows that actually were cathartic in my life growing up. And um, the life television he's talking about. <laughs> I'm always on the other side of the camera, not this side. <laughs> and you're a power in the, in the theater community, too. And I I'm, I'm, can't wait to sit down with you in the studio. You got it. The Kite Runner is coming in July to the Hayes Theater. And Broadway. 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 We're going to talk about it. Yes. I love, I love you, my dear. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride, everyone. That have a great Pride March. We're here with Diane Benson, the co-president of the Board of Trustees of Longhouse Reserve. Welcome, Diane. Thank you for coming out. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. And Longhouse has a table at Herrick Park. And we have made special pro uh, little our Longhouse hats with the Pride flag on them. And um, we're all for it. And I'm all for it, too. Why do you think it took so long for us to get a gay pride parade? Well, somebody had to make it happen, you know, and Tom House made it happen, and our new village government was obviously receptive. And so all these things came together and made it happen. And here, I think it's great. And here we are, and isn't it fabulous? And we have a great day, too. The weather is fabulous. I know, I know, I know. It's not too hot. Well, you know, I think the heavens agree with the things that are good on the earth. It tries. They I try. agree. They try. <laughs> have a great gay, gay, gay march. Gay march. No, parade it is, isn't it? Yes. Is, is it a march or parade? What, what's the difference? Um, I think this is more fun than just a march. But that's what I think, too. Yeah. So we're having a parade, right? We are here with three divine ladies from Sag Harbor. You missed up my cues. I, was, I forgot your name. Rafa, Rusty. Rafa, Rusty, and who are you? Anita Boyer. Anita and Boyer. Uh, we came with our fabulous variety show. A reggae show? No, are you in the show? Our fabulous variety show. Look yes, up. I run our fabulous variety show, and these are some of our fabulous divas that we are so, so grateful. What's, what's your name? Anita Boyer. I'm going to let you announce everybody, okay, Anita? <laughs> hey, hey, we're here. It's a, it's a, it's a what, an entertainment, what do you call it, a show? Our Fabulous Variety Show. Okay. okay. 
our fabulous variety show. And these are some of the amazing divas who perform with us. We're so grateful for their talents. They are incredible. This is Rafa Show. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and we have Rusty Nail. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gay Pride in East Hampton. Thank you so much for coming. Tell us what brought you here. Well, we got, who sent us the info for, I think, um, Tom House invited us. Tom House invited us, and we were excited to have some drag queens in the parade and female impersonators, and um, we just love supporting the community any way we can. And Tom House is a major player out here, and he's a mover and shaker, and he got you shaking it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so what are you going to do for us today? We are um, going to be doing a little bit of dancing, and we'll have lots of music blasting from our Jeep, and they're going to be waiting and genuflecting and, and being all fabulous from the um, Cadillac sponsored by Bamboo. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Did we miss one young lady here at the end? This is Queen Arlene. Queen Arlene. Hi, Queen Arlene. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. And Girl. we have a bunch of kids over there that are going to dance um, a march, you know, along with, uh, with us. Well, girls, you look divine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to LTV and have a great day. Gay, I keep gay, gay pride, whatever. It is. Gay, what is it? Gay pride, the, a great pride. gay pride, pride it's day. Pride. Pride, pride. Is that a tongue twister or is it me? Gay pride day. Is that what it is? I don't know if that's what it's called, but. <laughs> Here we have, we have two guys from the LBGT Center in the Hamptons. Tell us, uh, what's your name? Sure, uh, my name is Robert Batelli. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the LGBT Network. We're a 501c3 nonprofit charity, and we run the LGBT centers in Long Island, Queens, including our Hampton Center in Sag Harbor. That's what we're representing here today. And we serve the LGBT community throughout the lifespan, and we've been doing so for 29 years, and it's great to be here for the first ever Hamptons Pride. We're really proud to be a part of it, and... Uh, just excited to see everyone together to celebrate uh, our achievements. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. You have a lot of work you're doing. Yes, we're running Queen's Pride tomorrow and Long Island Pride the following week. So I hope everyone, everyone joins us. <laughs> yeah, that's an adrenaline rush, right? It's great. You know, we're so proud and happy to be able to serve the community in, in the different ways that we do, our centers, our programs, our services, education at schools, and our pride celebrations, you know, uh, making sure that we can help LGBT people to be themselves, stay healthy, and change the world. Why do you think it took so long to go to first play here? Um, it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of effort to put something like this together. Uh, so I really give the organizers a lot of credit because we do two of them, so we know how much work it is. Um, but it's amazing to see all these people come out, both LGBT identified and allies. Um, and I think it's a really great time uh, to to begin this type of event here. Yeah, there are a lot of allies here today too. It's really fabulous to have all these people show up and, and for love like that. It's terrific. Yeah, I think it's a it's a real indicator of how times have changed and improved. And I think the willingness for people to see, understand, and support, and include, and affirm the LGBT community, and all, all everyone within the LGBT community, LGBTQIA+. Well, thank you for being a part of it all. It's terrific. I, I love the work you do. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. Happy Pride. Hey. This is my wife. Oh. <laughs> so, so here, we're here with the gay Americans in this candy apple red dune buggy that looks really hot. <laughs> it looks like fun. <laughs> Tell us about it. Uh, it's a 69 Volkswagen dune buggy that I built from uh, ground up with three other guys, four other guys. So we're here to support our friends, and it's an awesome parade so far. And you are? I'm Robert King. Chris King. Chris. 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 I'm Chris King. So you're husband and wife? We're yes. husband and wife. So you, you're here supporting your friends is what you're doing. Thank you so much for coming out because you're just as important. It's wonderful to have your support. So keep doing it. Yes. Keep showing up. I love your car. So, and these are your friends in the back. You are? Anne-Marie McCoy. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here for the first annual parade. I'm so excited to be a part of the first annual parade. And you are? Look, I'm in it. I just got to say one thing. The way we've had times, the only time we see flags and people is to protest or mourn. It feels really good to come on out here, get the flags out, and let's put the gay back in gay. <laughs> Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Have a great parade. 
to Amit Scott Howe, the director of ARF, who's supporting the parade. Welcome and thank you for coming. Oh, thanks. This is so great. Happy to be part of history. <laughs> it's, it's terrific. How, why do you think it took so long? Oh, I think New York leads everything, and we thought uh, we could get by without celebrating here. It's about time Pride came to the Hamptons. Yes, I think so, too, and I'm glad it's happening. It's a great day. The weather's fabulous, and thank you for coming out to do it. Oh, thanks as always. We're happy to be here. And you have some dogs we can adopt? Yes, we have four dogs marching with us today. Where, where, are, where are they? Uh, they're about to be in front of the van Okay. as soon as we pull out. All right. Have a, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Marshal of the parade. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're leading the parade. Well, how does it feel? It feels fantastic. It's been the village has turned out. We're happy. Look at these people. They got love in their hearts. They got flags in their hands. We're here. We're queer. We're happy. Thank you so much for making this happen. How long is how long has this been in the works? You have to talk to Tom, Tom, Tom House. Made this happen. It's been in the works for a couple of months. And how long have you been a part of it? Since the beginning. You've been making it happen too. 
one of many. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much. And, and we, we, we want to talk. Oh, what's your name, real quickly? Catherine Zoka. Catherine, thank you again. And we have our driver, Alan Cumming. Aaron Cumming. Alan Cumming. Thank you. It's proud to be out here, just doing what I can to support. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I'm Patrick Cristiano. Who are you? I'm Alan. And what are you doing here? Oh, I'm supporting the parade. And what's your connection? Oh, a huge connection. And, and who, who is this? I'm Bob Challoner. I'm the chief administrator at Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. I'm also a grand marshal, co-grand marshal. The co-grand marshal. Yeah, I am, absolutely. And I'm thrilled. Thank you for making this happen. I'm thrilled to be here. Is this a, a group that organized it? It's an amazing event and just so great for our community to be out here and be proud. And we got beautiful weather, too. The gods divine on us. Perf uh, perfect weather. What a day for a pride parade, right? Amazing day. So. Thank you for being the co-grand marshal. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you guys all for coming. So we're here with the mayor of East Hampton, Jerry Larson. How cool is that? <laughs> Say hello, Jerry. Hey, how are you today? Great, how are you? Uh, we're doing great. Our first ever Pride Parade in East Hampton Village, and we're so excited. Thank you so much for making, being a part of making that happen. Oh, no, it's, it's been terrific, and Tom House has done a great job, and we're just so happy. What do we have, five, 600 people here? It's incredible, really incredible. Thousands, I think, watching the show, so. It's How are they watching? Right. You mean from the side? Watching the parade, I meant, yeah. People on the, on the oh, side, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, so it was good, really good. It's just going to get better every year. Well, well, you, is that a guarantee we're going to get it next year? Absolutely. We're going to do it again next year. Wonderful. It's terrific to hear that. Thank you so Thanks much for much. reassuring nice us. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Hey, we're still at the Hamptons Gay Pride Parade and with the town supervisor. Tell us your name again. Peter Van Skoik. I should know that right off the tip of my tongue. That's quite all right. Say it three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked you to say it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, what, a, what a great day. It, beautiful weather's held up. So many of the community have come out to celebrate today and really support everyone in our community. We're a very inclusive community and uh, love is love. We, we, we had a great turnout, didn't we? Absolutely. I, every, every, I, I, I'm very surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm pleased is what I want to say. I'm pleased at all the wonderful people that came out today. And you, you look really dapper. You got your purple on, too. Yes, it's after Memorial Day. I guess I can wear white pants now. And, uh, you know, again, beautiful day. So many people in the community coming out. I think this is only going to be bigger next year. Everybody's having fun. Uh, it's a terrific event. So you're already planning for next year? Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm the town supervisor, so uh, to have this parade in the in the village really you know requires support of the mayor and and the trustees here. Uh, the town certainly is very supportive. But you're behind it too, is what? Absolutely I mean. behind it. You know, I have so many friends and 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 relatives that uh, you know are part of the gay community, and uh, we're just here to show our love and support for everyone. Well, thank you for helping make this happen. It's a great day. We got the weather just gets nicer and nicer as it goes on, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so, wishing everybody a great time today, and we'll look forward to next year doing this again. Well, thank you so much. It's Patrick from the Hamptons Pride Parade today in East Hampton. Look at the turnout. Well, hi, I'm Indy Eaton, and right now we're here at Herrick Park.
first pride parade in East Hampton and I am overcome with emotion of joy and what I would say is we've had such a crappy time lately in the world that it feels good to see people out celebrating love and joy it feels like lately the only time we gather is for like a funeral or a protest so I'm just I'm all in I'm all in on the love and it feels good to see the community out celebrating it's high time and I guess I've been telling people we got to put the gay back in gay Isn't this amazing? The party here just gets bigger and bigger. People keep coming. They didn't even see the parade, and they're showing up. Look at it. Cheers. Mayor Jerry Larson, if you're here, please come to the podium. Talking to Mr. Jerry Larson. And Jerry said, and he gave me permission to use these words. <laughs> Why is there no pride parade in the Hamptons? The gays hit Main Why not? Why, why is there no pride parade in the Hamptons? Finally. We can't say that anymore. But credit where credit is due. None of this would be happening if not for a phone call I got in the winter. All right, do the timeline. October. 501c3 letter of determination from the IRS. Winter, phone call through Jackie, Dunphy, Jerry Larson. How would you like to organize the first Pride Parade? Yeah. And I was like, well, we thought we're called Hamptons Pride. Yeah. Maybe that's something we'll do eventually. I was like, but yes, we'll do it. Three months to pull it together. Um, probably if anyone's done a parade up Island the LGBT network, they do a big parade. Theirs is next weekend. Um, the big city parade is on June 26th, the same day as our Longhouse event, fundraiser, uh, called Longhouse Celebrates Pride. There's information back there. Um, sorry to be plugging while the mayor is waiting. Um, all right, so if not for the call in the winter and my reluctant yes and all my friends saying, you are absolutely crazy to do this. I was like, but if we wait another year, look what we would have missed. Yeah. All right, so Mayor, Jerry, Larson, a big welcome, great day. This is even better and bigger than I thought it would be. It's absolutely incredible. And I really have to thank Tom. He did an outstanding job. Give him a round of applause. Because... Mr. House, give him a round of applause. Because what he pulled off is unbelievable. So how do you like the first annual Pride Parade in East Hampton Village. All right. I said annual. So, first Saturday of June 2023, we're here again? Yes, that's good. First Saturday of June 2023 will be the annual day for the parade. Hampton. Marcos, write that down. All right, so. I just want to thank, there's a couple other people that we should really thank. Uh, Peter Van Skoyak is in the crowd. He's our town supervisor. Town board members are here. Village board members are in the back. Uh, oh, Bridget Fleming's here. Hey, Bridget. So I just wanted to be serious for a moment and just tell you what my motivation was to ask Tom to do this. And a young person in our community was struggling. And unfortunately, it, it ended tragically. So I said to myself, what can I do to help people who may be in the similar circumstance? And I thought about a parade. A parade show brings the whole community out. It shows support for the people who are in the parade and it's a community event. So I thought if we did something like that, it would help. If it helped one person realize 
that we're all one community. That was my goal. So I think we look around today, and by the turnout we've had, that we have definitely helped people today. So I, I just want to thank everybody. I want you to enjoy East Hampton Village. And uh, thank you all for coming. And this was wonderful, and it was more than my expectations. So yes. thank you all so much. And thank Tom. She's, this is really brave. She's going to get up and talk to a bunch of adults, OK? This is a warm welcome to Kimberly. Yeah. Hello, everyone. As you know, my name is Kimber Mel. I go by they, he, she pronouns. And I'm a senior at East Hampton High School and a member of the Guildhall Teen Arts Council. First off, I want to say how excited I am to be here today. Start over. Put the microphone right to your mouth. No, it's cool. That's what happens. You gotta learn how to speak in public. So right to your microphone, talk loud. Okay. Once again, uh, my name is Kimber Mel. I go by they, he, she pronouns. And I am a senior at East Hampton High School and a member of the Guildhall Teen Arts Council. First off, I want to say how excited I am to be here at the first Pride in East Hampton. But I have to be honest, I struggled to figure out what I was going to say today. I repeatedly re re uh, rewrote this speech, not feeling that it was quite right. There was so much I wanted to say to all of you, yet I had no words to describe the immense emotions I feel. Even my family noticed <laughs> that I was struggling in writing this, and they're here today. Yeah. Uh, and my mom happens to be my inspiration for this speech. Last night, she was rushing all over the house uh, and called out to me to ask, how's that speech going? Uh, and, oh my god, I have to find what I'm gonna wear. I, I'm getting ready right now. And I, I confusingly just told her, I reminded her that the parade wouldn't be until today, this morning. And she said, I know, but I need to find the perfect outfit because it's a very special day. This brought me to tears. I ran down and I hugged her and I thanked her for embracing our community and me. Her words made me realize the difference between being embraced and being acknowledged. My queer identity has always been acknowledged, but I never feel like my identity was truly embraced until that moment. So I thank East Hampton Pride. And I thank all of you here today. This parade represents the growth that we have made in the community of East Hampton. And it is an event that will surely go down in history. This is a time to celebrate our progress and acknowledge how far we have gone and how far we still need to grow. This parade has demonstrated that the community of East Hampton is ready to fully embrace the LGBTQ plus community. That this community is a safe place for all, and it is a family that safe, is safe. Cool. Safe place for all. <laughs> safe place for all. That's the goal. That's the goal. Whether you are you're out or you're not, this place is safe, and it is a family that is full of people who will embrace you in the spirit of love and kindness. I want to remind you that you are loved and you are valid. I ask that the community continue to demonstrate their support year-round to not only acknowledge our existence, but also to embrace us in the warm arms like a mother. Your acceptance and continued support it will surely enable a space for young people and others in the community to fully embrace their identity and unapologetically be themselves. Your presence alone is a step to creating a community of love. Because together we are love, and love plus love will always and forever equal love. That was so brave, and that was so well done. I mean, I think valedictorian, feature, I don't know. Politician. <laughs> All right, the next person up is one of our grand marshals. We have two, so please wait for both of them. The first one is Bob Schauner. 
My bag is gone with the fire. I was just I don't know where it is. Bob Toner is the chief administrative officer at Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. He's done incredible things in the healthcare field. Um, before I forget, oh, okay, I'll do that later. Bob Toner, please. Happy Pride, everyone! So, I was asked um, by Tom and Fred Doss, actually, called me and asked if I would be a Grand Marshal for the first parade. And I knew I was sunk because Fred was the one that called, and Fred is the same guy that talked me into paddling from Montauk to Block Island a couple of years ago. So, Fred and Tom, thank you for the honor of serving as co-Grand Marshal with Catherine, who will be much more eloquent than me today. A couple of people have asked me, why did I do this? I did this for a couple of reasons. My normal job is running the hospital, and I'm very, very proud of what my team and a bunch of them are over there have done for healthcare in this community, <laughs> including opening Long Island's first LGBTQ plus healthcare center, the Edie Windsor Healthcare Center, <laughs> named after our hero, Edie Windsor, her wife Judith, is among us today. Why did I do this? A number of years ago, I was one of those small kids in a small town upstate New York, terrified of the world knowing that I was gay. Scared to death what would happen to my life if the world found out that I was gay. And along the way, I had a long journey to come out. Twenty-some years ago, I finally came out to my family, to my work, and to all of my friends and met the love of my life, Oscar Mendez, who's here somewhere. Oscar helped me along that journey, and Oscar and all of the people I've met, my friends, convinced me what an honor it is, frankly, to be gay. And to all those young people that are struggling, the world is a wonderful place when you are truly yourself. And for all of us who are not, I hope we can learn to appreciate each other's differences, whatever they are, and let every young person truly be themselves and grow up to be the miracles that they should be. Thank you all for being here. I guess I'm going to introduce my co-grand marshal, Catherine Zorka. All right, Catherine, come on up. Catherine Zorka. Thank you, Tom. And thank you all. I mean, you all look beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And I said before we started this parade that it's a short ride that took an awfully long time. An awfully long time to get here. But we are here today. And I'm flashing back one year ago when Tom called everybody to the park by the swamp to come and celebrate Pride. And it was Tom, me, and about one or two other people. So in one year, we have grown from four people to a thousand people. Woo! And next year, we're gonna be 5,000 people. Woo! You're with me, are you? Yeah! All right. Now, I was so honored to be asked, but I have to be honest. You know, when Tom called me and asked me to be the marshal, and a reflex kicked in. And it's a reflex that I think a lot of people of my generation and the younger generation know. And that is, I'm gonna be out there. And I, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop that reflex. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm already out there. I mean, it's like, <laughs> what's the big deal? But that, but that was in my heart. And I had to, I had to recognize that. And I'll, I'll, I'll circle back to that in a moment. I want to talk a little bit about my first Pride Parade. It actually wasn't a parade, it was in Washington, D.C. I grew up in a conservative Catholic family and the word gay was never mentioned. And so when I went to this Pride Parade on the beach, the Peace Street Beach, for those of you who know D.C., it was a day like today, except maybe 10 degrees warmer because, you know, D.C. is really hot. And you know what was great? There was a lot of people there, a lot of gay people. We were out in the daylight. And let me tell you, in the 80s, it was really difficult to meet gay people in the daylight. You had to meet people in a bar. 
And let me tell you, nothing against bars, but as a culture, it's not the place where you want to spend a whole lot of time. And so my epiphany that day, my transformation was, there are so many people out here who are gay like me, and we can be out in public, together, loving each other, being together, dancing, and having a good time. So today, Satch is a little small talk, big talk, but anyway. You know, today, being queer is really interwoven into every aspect of my life. I'm an artist, I'm an activist, I'm an athlete, and as Tom mentioned, I'm co-owner of Canio's Books with my partner, Marianne Calendrill, who is here in the crowd today. And I can say that being queer has really activated my life. It has informed my art, it has informed my activism, and it has informed all the work that I do. I'm the co-chair of a, a group called PEER, Progressive East End Reformers. Thank you. We advocate for Medicare for All, and I'll be talking to Bob about that later. We advocate for immigration rights, immigrants' rights, and thank God for Ola being here today. We advocate for community housing because we have to have all these beautiful people here stay in this community that they've grown up in, all right? And I want to tell you, get involved with me because it's really fun and when it's very empowering when we all work together. So now, coming of age in the 1980s was a really, it was a time of great contradiction. You know, on the one hand, there was a little opening up, there was a little bit of tolerance along the edges. You know, not everywhere, not often enough. But you know, as they say in the Bible, even the crumbs that fall to the floor are great when you're starving. And we were starving in the 1980s. We were starving for attention. We were starving for recognition. We were starving for role models. There were no role models that were openly gay. However, we were able to feel that window opening a little bit. And that was really a miraculous thing. But on the other hand, you know, the 80s was the time of the crushing AIDS crisis. Reagan, with his cruelty, was a bane to our community. Reagan wanted to quarantine gay people. And so, in the, living the contradiction between those two extremes, galvanized a generation of activists. We took to the streets. We marched with our allies. We realized that by being together with all the groups, all the groups on the margin, that there was strength in numbers, but, but beyond that, there was a recognition of being shoulder to shoulder with people that maybe we didn't grow up with, but we were now on the streets together, that their struggle is our struggle. And we built that rainbow coalition. It wasn't perfect, but at its best, it was powerful, and progress was the result of that. Now we live today in a very similar time. A very similar time. I mean, there's great acceptance of gay people. Everybody wants to have a gay friend, let's say. <laughs> However, there's also at the same time an ugly, vicious backlash against the LGBTQ community. In particular, our youth and our trans brethren in our community. And that is absolutely not acceptable. And so, uh, to speak to all of you, trans flag, excellent, yeah, really. To speak to all of you, myself and all those in my generation, we understand in our bones the uncomfortable balancing act that you wrestle with every day. Who am I safe with? With whom can I be myself? Am I safe opening up to this person? Am I safe in my own home? Am I safe in this space, whether the space is a, a cafeteria, a party, or a bathroom? A bathroom. Can you believe how they are making young people feel unsafe in bathrooms? So, I want to speak to all of those young people and say, we're here for you. 
We are here for you. The community is here for you. We want you, we want you to lay your burden down. Release your burden. You're with friends. We want to help your spirit grow to its full capacity. And I want to pivot back because I want to just say to you that my being gay and having to deal with all those questions, do I tell my parents, can I tell this friend, will I be shunned, it was soul crushing. And I know it's soul crushing for a lot of the people here today. But, and this is an important but, it also deepened and expanded my humanity and all of our humanity. Having to struggle teaches us to have compassion for the struggles of others. This is critical. The chaos of my coming out became the foundation of my own empathy, which continues to grow every day. I still learn, I still make mistakes. <laughs> and so for all of you out there who are struggling, this struggle is making you a more empathetic person who will love with a greater heart. And at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, it's all about empathy and it's all about love. So I want you to release that burden. I want you to take the, the weight off your chest, the tightness in your throat. You can be yourself because you are beautiful. There are officials here marching with us today. Thank them. Thank them for what they've done. Thank them for what they'll do. Okay? That's important. They are our allies. In closing, spend time in nature. All right? Get off the damn phone. Spend time with those who love. Children present. Own your pride. Okay, vote like a queer, own your pride, vote your values, and hey, stop by Kenny's and say hello anytime. Thank you, you're beautiful. Catherine, thank you so much. If I wasn't wearing the Hamptons Pride t-shirt, I would be wearing the Kenny's Bookstore blue t-shirt. Hey, it's Patrick Cristiano coming to you from the East Hampton Gay Pride. <laughs> One more time, Gay Pride in the Hamptons. Of what's the date? 